Mm. I missed ten. It's, it's fine. He got fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we do two. We all missed ten, but I mean that's look. Sometimes actors need to move on. That's just how things are going to happen in Stranger Things, and we we've that's all right. been looking forward. Oh, no, 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 no. I love all the things Stranger Things ties in with, like Funko Pops, Fortnite. <laughs> Amber Crombie and Fitch. It's almost like it's just a brand and not a proper television show. Hmm. There were some moments in the show that I was like, come on. Come on with your product placements. <laughs> oh, at this time, I've not actually seen season three. Yeah, season three is fun. Uh, is fun. I had a lot of fun yeah. with it, but it nothing fun. will ever beat the terrible product placements of Bones. Oh, if oh you've, boy. Yeah, if you've never seen Bones, there will be times where they're like, oh, we have to go to the crime scene or whatever in a new car and yeah and, like the, an and then car, then yeah. and then they'll just be like yeah it has all these features like alex uh, is, uh, is like installed <laughs> look i can tell my car to play music and it's just in that tone <laughs> I, dang i thought you said bone as in like jeff smith's bone oh me too <laughs> and i was gonna get very confused yeah I, that's what i thought no. too and i was like the comic Okay. Do you remember the product placement in those comics, baby? Anyway, here's my brother, Funny Bone, and it's like, Funny Bone's like, mmm, I'm just here drinking a nice cold Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Smith, come on the show. I've met you in real life several times. We have not actually been introduced. We dare you. <laughs> come on to this specific podcast. Join the club. <laughs> Bet you won't. Bet you won't do it. Don't go on the other podcast. Uh, actually, chances are this might be going up in September or around the time that I'll be working on a big project, so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> comics Crossroads Columbus, your best free comic show in the country. It's like SPX, but harder to get into, but free to attend. Ah, just nice. off. Okay, we should, we should play this game. <laughs> we should actually play the game. is Gar Atkins, but you can call me Sahoni. I use he, him, and I play Dodger, a cleric of sorts who's also a wolf boy of sorts. Hi, I'm Eric, aka Rhythm Bastard, and I play Oi, the drow punk monk. Uh, he goes by he, him, and he likes punching things with his fist, shredding things on his guitar, and off camera since the last episode, he netted himself a sweet studded leather vest. I am Sam, I go by they, them, and I play as Kier, the dandy warforged warlock who works for the Zentarum. I'm Naveni Drexel, and I'm a changeling, but I don't like people to think badly of me, and they're untrusting, so I just say I'm a person of interest. Wait, hold on. I'm also Gina Dazer. I've been recording for too long today. <laughs> <laughs> Go by they, them. And I'm Madison. Go she, by she, her. And I play as Koyos, the crocodile lizard man who is a druid and loves dogs and goes by he, him. And I also have Mary, the best dog. I love <laughs> dog five times. I love that dog. Hey, everybody. I'm Jonah Jackson, he, him, and I will be playing renowned and also reviled prop comedian Grimshack, uh, also reviled and renowned hand stealer. He, they. <laughs> and I'm Luke, he, him, your game master and provider to of hands and people to murder. So, uh, with the goods of that drow whose name you never got uh, distributed amongst the party, uh, can we quickly go over who got everything? Boy, you got the armor. Yes, I got the, yeah, I got the studded vest. I think it was just the vest. Studded leather armor, okay. Yep, yeah, yep. but well, we can say it's just the vest. You pull yeah. the sleeves Yeah, we'll off. say it's just the vest. <laughs> you flex too hard. 
<laughs> the sleeves fell off. Uh, Kier got the scimitar. Nevenia got the poison pistol. Uh, four helpings of uh, smoke powder, boots of elven kind, and I think that's... 20 bullets. Oh, the guns. The bullets, yes. The gun bullets for my gun. I have two guns! Gun bullets for guns. They call me two guns. Yeah, they count them up. Two guns. <laughs> uh, I got a pineapple, so... Yeah, D- Dodger, Dodger got nothing. I guess the satisfaction of a job well done. Dodger did try and steal the fizzy lifting juice. Oh, that's unfortunately true. <laughs> but but the good news is, is I, 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 by the end of the story, I inherit the whole factory, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yep. It's a gun factory now. Oh shit! <laughs> Willie Gunlock. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the six of y'all. Oh gosh, this party just keeps growing. Uh, where have you headed now that you have handed over the mysterious drow? I, I-, I want to slide over to Dodger. Mm-hmm. Dodger, who was your friend? Oh, that. That's Diego. I told him about uh, him. He's the one with the book. You told him about him? No, I, I, I told you about him with mm. the with. He had the book, uh-huh. and, and you said that he wasn't real. And then uh-huh. he's just very red in the face still, yeah, <laughs> and just kind of just uh, mm. panicking. And he's like, he's really smug. And <laughs> Kier has slid over at this point as well. The other side, <laughs> <laughs> just close him in from across the way. Grimshack's like, well, his pants came off great. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, Dodger. Do- did you see how his pants came off? I- I did. Did you? <laughs> I did. Dodger is just hiding his face in his hands and groaning very <laughs> just a long <laughs> glow. Oh. Well, maybe we can visit him tomorrow and check to see how his pants are. Okay. Maybe they'll come off again. Yes, and I can get that book back and can't tell him what. Tell him what? What can we tell him? Nothing. Nothing. Tell him nothing. And he just like storms off, put <laughs> up, <laughs> just arms crossed. We-, we could tell him his butt's great, though, right? Like that's cool. I link oh. my arm with Kier and just grip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we are absolutely telling him how great his butt is. I mean, it's like a real solid butt. And Dodger's just already like, can't hear you! Ah! Speaking as someone who has a literally sculpted butt, <laughs> that man has a sculpted butt. Yeah, he's got that cushion you can't deny with a sculpted bug. Out of character, he does have the stubby tail, which does kind of, you know, highlight it. Like Like an exclamation point. Exactly. It draws the eye to the butt. Yes. It's like a weird third cheek. (laughs) (laughs) I'm into it. What's it hiding? (laughs) But Grimshack, if you're not doing anything tomorrow morning, maybe we could just hop on over and can all go together yeah i'm i don't have anything to do until tomorrow night for my next set so yeah, yeah. let's do it hey, maybe you could loan him those pants and dodger could learn a bit of magic wow yeah i have i mean i'll have to root around in the bag to find him but sure this is cool with me do you guys need a place to crash tonight or like do you i was just gonna sleep in my dressing room I oh, i'll have would none not of that hear of it no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just, just... are me and Kier the same person yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have a dope ass party mansion. In case you haven't heard, oh. it's full of dogs. I just like lower the shutter shades. Like dope, dope ass party mansion. Nice. It's ninety percent dope, ten percent ass. <laughs> I like those odds. Let's go. <laughs> we get a carriage home because I'm very drunk. Yes. <laughs> can, can we can we stop by the yachting portal and get the iguanas first, though? Yeah, of course. Okay, great, 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 great. Oh, yeah. No, Dodger's not here for that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get them. <laughs> you shiver, sensing something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Iguana sense is tingling. So as uh, you enter into... <laughs> the room uh there are only three of the iguanas left and there is a very confused looking dog who is in the room right now what a dog what happened i think they rused you greg greg is that you <laughs> the dog the dog opens its is he wearing a tiny shirt <laughs> 
<laughs> the dog opens its mouth and Greg waddles out. Oh, <laughs> oh God! Oh, and I go and I, I, I hold Greg. Oh, thank God, Dodger's not here. <laughs> oh. oh, wow! Oh, wow. Hey, how big is this new dog? Describe this new dog to us and the listeners. Uh, this new dog was submitted by Rhythm Bastard on behalf of his brother. Uh, this new dog is named Goku, and it is white and sort of fluffy and scruffy, and it has uh, brown patches around its eyes and brown ears. How big Aww. is the dog? Is it How bigger big than is me? The dog? Goku? Is the dog. No. Dang it. Aww. Yeah, it's a very small dog. Okay. Grimshack cannot ride the stock. That was <laughs> what I wanted to know. <laughs> uh, if only had reduce or enlarge. <laughs> Oh, if only. Make small dog large. Make a grown man cry. All right, well, I just say, come to me, my know. beauties, to the iguanas, and we can and we can head out. <laughs> it's crawling all over him. Oh, all over them. <laughs> Did uh, Kier come in? Yes. Uh, Kier, you notice your uh, contact. Uh, Tasha is waiting and looking at you as you come in the building. Oh, uh, I... Or Tashlin. Tashlin. I was like, Tasha of Tasha City Slaughter? Whoa. Oh, God. <laughs> I know her well. Stars at an event. Also a very good comedy club. Go collect the uh, the lizards. I'll be, I'll be right with you. I'll meet you at the carriage. And I go up to Tashlin. I am become the lizards. And they're just like, they're just all over me. <laughs> <laughs> so many lizards. A new dog. Yeah. Jim, a coconut to go. I walk in, immediately draft my knees and hug the dog. So glad that Goku has been confirmed. <laughs> confirmed for <laughs> Ding, dog added. Goku. It's like the animations in Spyro whenever you find a new dog. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> and then he tells you how to, to, to hold X when you jump. Yeah. Six out of 30 dogs found. Yeah. By, uh, Spyro and his 30 dads. <laughs> <laughs> They're all dads. Now I can add, add a new dog to the dog list. Yep. I have added Goku to my private dog list. Uh, <laughs> Such a good dog name. So uh, Tashlin is at the table with a beer that she is drinking. I I, uh, I give Tashlin the our, our little handshake signal, as I do. She nods. I have news uh, regarding the murders in the dock ward. Yeah, what you got? We fixed it. We stopped it from happening further. Uh, there was a drow. He worked for a sect. Uh, and I whisper, he worked for Jarlaxel. Oh, well, we'll be passing that on. Did he get a name? Of the drow? Yes. Oh, he was one of those, oh, I give my name for the cause. I have no identity but for what I die for. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, uh, who, who did he hand him off to? Oh, that lovely Diego fellow from the Dark Wards, the one with the great ass. <laughs> 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 it's a great ass. <laughs> she like blinks twice. Listen, Dodger. Dodger may maybe a a weird street g- monster, but he has good taste. That that's it. Look, we're all <laughs> weird street monsters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the grand scheme of things. Yeah, <laughs> we're, all, we're, we're being very horny on Maine right now. <laughs> For a cat man. <laughs> Main Street? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, then, if you prevented another murder and uh, you've done your duty, nobody else is with you in the Zents here, are they? Uh, no, that they're just business associates and housemates. Then I suppose all the business that you get is yours, and she hands you a stack of 50 gold coins. And you get plus one rank. Yes. Or plus one renowned. Oh, so renowned, not rank? Uh, yeah, renowned. Okay, okay, okay. Tashlin, it's been a pleasure as always. Do let me know if there's any more work to be done. I'll do that for you. Uh, you know, you can find me in Troll Skull Manor if you ever want to drop by. I won't be doing that. Fair enough. Well, have a good evening. And I just tuck the sack away and I walk away from what has become an awkward interaction. <laughs> She just sips her beer as you leave. And you get back into the cart, and uh, you get back to Troll Skull Manor. So, uh, arriving, uh, you get to the still uh, not like super far in the repairs Troll Skull Manor. Like you see, there are stacks of wood and other 
construction elements that have been put outside here because they've at least moved everything to get the uh, building started. Oh, wait, what's happening here? I don't think Koyos is aware of what was happening here. <laughs> also, he's drunk, so it doesn't help. <laughs> Can Koyos be aware of repairing a house? It's a, it's a generally new concept. So they're taking our house and making it better oh. by taking some of the bad parts away. Oh. And then putting new, better parts in. He's just nodding along, but you can tell that this is going to take a little bit to process, both because he doesn't understand and also because he's very drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty sweet digs. <laughs> Did you get another drink while we were at the bar? Yeah, no, Jim got me a coconut to go. I love that I've never paid for a drink there ever. Why would you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> High five. No five. Nice. Well, they're certainly siblings. <laughs> finger gun. Hey. Single finger gun. Finger gun. I pull out the. I pull out the draw hand out of the bag. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out a gun. Right, whoa! 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 whoa. Hey. <laughs> no, no. No. Okay. I put it back. <laughs> Too much gun. Not enough finger. <laughs> so. As you uh, go inside, uh, Lif, the ghost here at uh, Troll Skull Manor, sort of rings a bell that's been established to let them know that they, or to let you all know that they see you. Oh, and oh wonderful. Oh, yes, we have an invisible bartender. Wait, what? He's dead. <laughs> what? Ghost friend, ghost friend. We honor the bar, and then he honors us by, um... Not being a nuisance. Sweet. Liv, could you be a deer and top off the coconut? I like just I just like hold it out. They uh take a bottle and just pour it in. But it's like red wine. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> I just stir it around with the straw and slurp it on up. It's all fruit juice. You've gotta be past the point where you can taste alcohol. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> Yeah, let me show you around. And I do. Yeah, no, show, show me the digs. Uh, there's a bar downstairs, and then we're opening up this uh, for stairs that go upstairs, and then uh, he, I put into Discord a map of Trollskull Alley, which everyone to find on Google or in your books that, from D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Koyo sleeps upstairs, and they have a dog room. Um, for all the dogs. There's uh, there's people further up, but there's a library, which we don't have many books. It's all sort of like a trashy detective novel. But uh, the kids like it. Uh, I sleep in the the side room and the second picture to the right, uh, and I get the turret as well. You know, I like overlooking things too. Mm, so yeah, like yeah. Keeping things very nice. Yes. Sweet. You can, can stay where you like. Yes. This is, this is a cool spot. Yes. I live in the basement. Yes. <laughs> and how is that for you? <laughs> oh, it is just like home. It's nice and dark and faint smell of alcohol, and sometimes there's free mushrooms and sprouted out of the ground. <sighs> yes. the, the hands in front of the face and like the very like serious look like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And we also have six dogs. Six dogs? Seven dogs now. So many dogs. So wait, is this going to be the dog cafe, the thing that you were talking about, dog cafe? Yes. Downstairs, we're going to have like a little pen that we're going to make that maybe that... Um, the window area in the corner, uh, we sort of like have the dogs there and just have them walking around. Maybe, maybe put little saddles on them to carry the drinks. That'd be nice. Really cool. This is all doggy very dogs. good. Mm. Wow. I mean, you guys are, you guys are doing a great job flipping this whole thing. I mean, that it's, it's definitely a big commitment, but like, I, I really appreciate what you're doing here. This is a very commendable project. I think it's going to be great. Yes. We're keeping the outside facade as well. And I'm like very much swaying. Yes. It's, uh, it's great. Also, there's lots of cushions upstairs I had carted in. Also, also, I have this box and I hold out my, the box that's got like a lot of dead. It's very nice looking. It's a little silver lock. I think that, I think the key's in a book. And the book is held by the buttman, and I need to get to him tomorrow and get the key to get the book open. Wait, no, to get the box open, so get a book in it. <laughs> like, I'm sitting, I'm sitting on a stool, just like leaning on the cupboard. Hmm. So you gotta go to the butt guy to get the key to, okay, yep, yep, got it, yes. got it. I need to go to Dodger's buttman. Buttman. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a bar. I need to go to Dodger's butter. No. <laughs> His butt friend. <laughs> His butler. 
Well, cool. Yeah, let's let's do that in the morning. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of I'm just hanging out. It's something to do between shows, so I'm I'm down to cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's so funny. And then I think that I think that Grim Shack like passes out for a second, like even if it's not permanently, <laughs> just kind of like yeah. into like a pile of cushions covered in iguanas. Yeah, you go upstairs and settle into the cushion pile of iguanas. Both go to sleep. <laughs> Do you want an iguana coddle? Uh, yes. <laughs> Excellent. I can put more iguanas just on you. Yes. <laughs> and I hey. love you, and I bo- boop it a nose. <laughs> love you too. And I try to boop your nose, but there's an iguana in the way, so I boop the iguana's nose. <laughs> <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Is it me? I'm like, <laughs> pass out. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, oi, are you going into your oi cave? Uh, yeah, I might as well. It's like, yeah, I'm probably going to just hang out and, you know, you know, uh, fiddle around a bit on the old guitar downstairs. But, you know, if you guys are doing anything else, let me know. Uh, yeah, as you go down there, you get the feeling that someone else has come down. Like, not just live, but... It's like, oh, some of those mushrooms that you were looking forward to growing larger seem to have been shifted or smushed as if someone was looking for something. Hmm. Uh, can I make a perception check to see if I can, like, notice any other clues? Uh, yeah. Okay. Rolling nine plus, uh, I think my perception is at perception, uh, plus three, so 12. Uh, so you, you can tell that someone came down here and you see a note that is pinned over, like, the area that you sleep. All right. Um, I give a quick look around the area Mm -hmm. and see if I can see anybody, and then I pick up the note. You open it up and you find two words on there. We're disappointed. We're disappointed. Okay, that could be anybody, but okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh Alright, and then I uh, kind of give one last look around and then make my way back upstairs. Or is there anything else, like, with the note? Is there, like, blood on it? Or is it, like, starved into the ground with a knife? Or uh, or it's just left there? Roll me a... Well, you rolled a perception. Uh, roll an insight check to see if you can figure out anything else. An insight, okay. Five. <laughs> uh, no, you don't notice anything that's weird. Okay. Uh, we, we then cut over to Dodger. Yeah, Dodger is, like, laying in his bed, staring up at his ceiling, and just <sighs> sighing, because he's had a really rough night, I think. And then, and then he's gonna kind of roll over, and he's gonna s- kind of awkwardly, uh, get himself into kind of a position of prayer, in something, and he's gonna be, and he's gonna go. Are you there, Kellum? For it's me, Dodger. Uh, we met once. I'm not sure if you remember. Uh, I don't think I've ever tried just talking to you before. Not since I was li- a kid, at least. Uh, I guess I'm trying to talk to you now because I I feel a little lost. I'm not sure what you want from me or what the right thing is to do. I never went to cleric academy or whatever. What is life to a cleric of the dead anyways i feel like i'm in a free fall just reacting Uh, so many times i feel myself asking why me and i'm not even sure if that's the part that matters i'm gonna keep doing what i think feels right uh thanks for listening and he's just kind of roll over back in bed and scream into his pillow about stupid hot Diego and his stupid tail and his stupid puss in boots routine. And as you're doing that, you hear a voice clearly in your head that says, build something. That's new. Uh, we then <laughs> cut over to Kier. Uh, Kier has similarly had a long day. He's not used to getting his ass handed to him, especially in a very public street fight. Um, He is having more and more awkward interactions with members of the Zentarum and more heartfelt interactions with people here, especially Navinia. And he is just uh, tired, even though that he doesn't sleep. Um, But what he is going to do is try and get back into routine and hold his uh, rapier in his lap and just sort of meditate and concentrate on it uh, as he typically does. 
And as you were doing this, you sort of see swirling into your mind. Does does Kier normally like have a visual emotion or like visual dreams? Or when they power down, what is it like? Is it just a pure shut off? Just a pure shut off. Just as you are like here, you see a vision in your mind that you don't think you've seen before, where you're in some massive city that you can't say you've ever been you've never really left Waterdeep but this beautiful blue city makes Waterdeep look like garbage it makes it look like I don't know Oi's head would probably explode if he saw this place and as you're doing this it says you hear a voice say come here Koyos yes what's up Uh, what's Koyos up to well I think more or less Koyos has ended up basically crawling back up the stairs, finding where all his dogs are getting settled in for the night, Mm -hmm. bringing along Barry and new dog Goku, Mm -hmm. (laughs) our new friend Goku, uh, and more or less just kind of crawling to the center of the room and passing out then and there. He is very drunk. He is not used to consuming like any amount of alcohol, really. So this has been way more than he is. Uh, accustomed to. As you do this, there's a uh, new licking sensation. Like, I feel like Koyos knows all the dogs by, like, how they lick and how they kiss and how they nuzzle. (laughs) And as you're starting to fall asleep, you notice that there is a greyhound there that is actually like a grey coat. And on their necklace is a tag that says, I'm Roger. Roger. (laughs) Dog achieved. (laughs) (laughs) This is the best episode. <laughs> I'm just like Roger. drunkenly like Roger, and then I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and Navinia, as you head in to your uh, room, yeah, I think I do that thing where you do a junk, like you wake up like an hour later, and like I crawl up to my roost. Mm-hmm. Uh, roll a perception check. Fourteen. Uh, yeah, you do not miss the large shape that is waiting for you. If you said Diego is a cat man this is a tiger man like easily maybe eight feet tall this reminds you of that sort of form that you had seen staring at you over the tower Mm -hmm. and they look to you and say adele asked me to find you and nikolai i have done that i think you have the wrong person but you can consider your job done i've done more than that I narrow my eyes. They seem to vanish, and on your windowsill is the head of the griff and the words, you're welcome. I take the head, and I put it in a little basket, and I close the basket. (laughs) (laughs) And I wipe the windowsill off, and I close the hatch, and I turn into Olivia, and I go to sleep. And, uh, yeah, you all, despite having very weird experiences before falling asleep, wake up in the morning a bit later than normal as a loud explosion goes off. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> that squawk. Blah, blah. Yeah. Not now. Bolt, bolt awake. <laughs> Dodger lets out a loud, uncharacteristic woof. <laughs> 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 Uh, Kira is rushing towards wherever the the sound came from. Uh, so it came from outside on the corner of the street. Oh God! Can I see anything from my window? Uh, yeah, you see, like this was a major explosion that has just gone off. Uh, on the corner there is a loud, or there is a large burn mark, as if something exploded at the corner here. Rimshack like stumbles uh, into Navinia's room. Up a ladder. Uh, very sleepy, v- very, very discombobulated, like covered in iguanas with like the arrow hat thing on and holding a watermelon in a diaper because I did draw all of those things in the course of the evening as I was asleep. I quickly turn into Navenia instead of Olivia. It'd be too much for you to see her. Um, <laughs> hey, what, uh, what, what is the word? Hey, good morning. Uh, hey, 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 what was that? Uh, a part of the street exploded. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. I go look at the, look at the window. What she's well. What that? What they are? Uh, 
Uh, I mean, you see the residual results of this explosion. There's dead bodies. There's scorch marks. There's oh, smoke. God. I didn't realize there were dead bodies. Yeah. Uh, we should go help if we can. Dodger is already down the stairs, struggling with suspenders and pants, and looking to see if there's any way he can help. Yeah, Kira is, like, motioning him down, like... Yeah, spare the dying at the ready. Oi is uh, stumbling up the stairs, putting his boots on and slinging his loot over his back and heading out to see what the ruckus is. I, I pick up Grimshack and piggyback them down the stair, down the ladder, <laughs> then down the stairs. I guess finally, definitely hung over. Uh, I'm piggybacked and then all of the iguanas. <laughs> are stacked on top of you? Yeah, all the iguanas are like piggybacking on each other as like Greg <laughs> piggybacks on me. <laughs> They're all wearing sunglasses because they're hungover. Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, God. <laughs> Even the iguanas are hungover. <laughs> that. They shared that last pineapple. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm yeah. a good boy. I didn't drink anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It takes uh, Koyo's a hot minute to get back down, but he is definitely hungover and also swarmed by many dogs, but he arrives eventually like, <laughs> what is happening? Why is the sun bright? What's happening? There's an emergency outside. People may be hurt. Oh, we should help yeah. if we can. Oh, God. Uh, Dodger, you get out here first. Yeah, and... Dodger's already running triage to see. Uh, it, it's honestly too late. It's a bunch of low-level NPCs, which sounds <sighs> awful, but it's a bunch of people who <laughs> would... It's a bunch of people who did not do well having something big explode on them if you want to make a perception check you can i would i would love to do that it took them below their maximum with one hit so they just died uh he got a 23 total Ooh, nice he's got sharp senses so uh yes so there are eight figures here there is a older human woman who you don't recognize there are two cloaked male humans who looked like they were ready for something with leather armor and they had like swords on them. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two humans and a male half elf who were dressed in plain clothes. Uh, there's a gnome here uh, who had a dagger pulled out on him or who was holding a dagger. Oh, I'm sorry. I, there is actually 12 people here. Uh, there were also a halfling band of two females and two male halflings who were caught in this blast. Dodger is just going to sink to his knees and kind of uh, just, I guess, look towards his own god and just like, please give them a peaceful rest at the very least. And I think uh, who would be getting out here next? That would probably be... Uh, here and Oi? Yeah. Yep. So, Kier and Oi, you get out of here, and uh, both of you can all roll perception checks as well. Yeah, I'm. All I'm right. looking specific. Kier's not a uh, help the victims type. He's more of a what the fuck just happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same. Yeah, that's a ten flat. Oof. Uh, Eleven. Yeah. Neither of you are really able to notice anything through all of the damage. Though Dodger, as Kier comes out, and you notice. Uh, the brand that he has on him. There's a similar brand on one of the uh, dead humans who have the swords and armor. Uh, uh, well, I definitely know what that symbol means. I guess don't uh, don't uh, do I? Yeah, it's it's the Zentarum symbol. Yeah, Kier talks about it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I have definitely explained it. <laughs> I I wanted I wanted to double check it was that one and not a different one. <laughs> uh, but uh, he is. He's going to get up, pick himself up, and with a determined look, kind of uh, investigate one of the, uh, the, uh, these Zentarum. Can he tell, like, where the explosion originated from? Uh, so there was, I mean, uh, it, yeah, it was sort of just a centralized attack, probably, that was targeting the uh, gnome. Maybe the Zentarum, they were sort of close together at the time. I kind of, I whistle for uh, for Kier and kind of wave them over. I, I hustle over. And I, I just point. Uh, do I recognize the Zentarum, the, the Zent human? Uh, you do not recognize these Zents. Would I typically recognize them if they were water deep Zents? Uh, no, I mean, they're part of your organization, but they just aren't like people of any... Okay. Notice more trouble. All right, these aren't like the 
the foreign Zentarum. No, these aren't the evil sect of Zents. Okay. I uh, I collect their badges, kind of palm them very carefully. Uh, roll a sleight of hand. Yeah. Imagine we can't be the only ones drawn by an explosion. Yeah. Ooh, that's better. Uh, that is a 17? Yeah, you are successfully able to do that without anybody noticing. And is there any sort of identifying, like, am I going to be able to tell their names? Or it's not like we walk around with ID badges with our name and rank, right? Not really. These were just sort of mercenaries. And uh, then Koyos, Grimshack, and Navinia, and the four iguanas get out here. <laughs> Imagine there's a bunch of dogs behind the gate, too. <laughs> <laughs> They're all, like, looking out. <laughs> Roger's there who's new who I'm still not convinced is real he might have been a dream <laughs> very tall I, uh, I, I, what, I, what is there anything we can do? it's nothing they're all dead the only thing I can do is give them a proper burial when the time comes we should get the guards if they're not already on their way that is when the uh, guards do arrive you notice a group of 12 guards two of them splitting off the entrance. There's also a Griffin cavalry coming over, and the chief of the guards comes over and says, "All right, there, there's just been a horrible accident. I'm going to need all of you to leave right now, so we can start our investigation." An accident, you say? We're hoping it's not an attack, but I'm not the investigator here. Who is? And that is when stepping out of a uh, carriage is a tall mage who looks sort of tired and weathered, uh, stepping down, followed by his uh, companion, who's another human who's got a pretty good mustache and beard, following him. And the guy says, My name is Saith Cromley. I'm the city watch sergeant sent in to dealt with shit like this. I'm his partner, Barnabas Blastwind. <laughs> of course. Uh-huh. This is... Sam, the human, saying this. Of course, this is how they sound. <laughs> this is a very strong comedic duo, I feel like. <laughs> One of them is definitely too old for this shit. And Barnabas Blastwind, I take it he is a very, uh, to put it, I guess, uh, a succinctly jovial looking fellow. Jolly, as one would say. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, as, he, as he introduces himself as, as Blastwing. Yeah. All right, we're going to start our investigation. I need all of you pieces of shit to get off the street, because we're going to be cleaning these streets like the Dung Sweepers Guild. Just make sure you have a permit, Nidge Grimshack. I just, I just very unamusedly, like, pull a propeller out of the bag and just sort of <laughs> whoosh it toward Blastwind like, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, how delightful! He chases it. <laughs> <laughs> just like leaping. <laughs> <laughs> I just shove it back in the bag I'm like, so do we want to go somewhere where there's not like a dead bodies and assholes yes, everywhere? Let's go make yeah, breakfast. Okay. Yeah. I've got work to do. And Dodger is storming back into the house, and he is now that he's more awake. He's obviously like covering his arms and uh, and kind of ears is flat because he doesn't like being without his cloak out here. Kier is actually going to try and head to Davil or the nearest Zentarm rep and drop these badges off and report what happened. You don't want to do on breakfast? Don't eat, darling. You are going to be prevented from leaving by the guard here. Oh. We're going to need you for questioning, you piece of shit. So you better get back in your house, which I assume has a toilet, which is where pieces of shit like you should be. Yes, just let me go back into my house where there probably isn't some kind of secret passageway where I could leave without your knowledge. (laughs) Dodger just mumbles under his breath, uh, a quab. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my! We are bastards, after all! (laughs) (laughs) All cops are blast win, is what he thinks it means. <laughs> They're all related to me, as it turns out. Well, not all cops are blast with some of them are Cromleys, like my partner here. <laughs> I walk back into the house. Yeah, I'm going to go back into the house and then I'm going to say, So, as far as they know, I walk into this house and don't leave. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> uh, I'll be what, back. Why do you, do you have business, like, what, now? Look, I, I don't know anything for sure, but for Zentarum dead in a single accident. Mm-hmm. We tend not to believe in coincidences. Two Zentarum. Two, sorry, still. <laughs> two Zentarum dead in the same accident, even if they were passers-by. Maybe they were just trying to kill a halfling and it failed. 
Halflings are like gnomes, like tinkerers. Halflings explode when you kill them? Is that racist? A, a smidge. A little bit. <laughs> but when we try to kill someone and fail, usually the person has no idea that we failed. Maybe you failed very badly. This is why I say don't trust his end. Not you, you're special. Look, at the very least, they won't know, the investigators won't know that they're Zen since I took their badge, but... But you are cleaning up after a lot of Zens lately. Maybe your organization's gotten a sloppy. Or maybe they're doing something they shouldn't normally do. And they're out of practice. That's for me to figure out, Nivinia. I... You're not asking anything I haven't asked myself, I assure you. Uh, none of those are questionable statements. But I have a fun trip. And I'm going to try and sneak out of the house without the cops seeing. Okay. Can we bring the dogs to the front yard as a distraction? The backyard and the side yards? Just fill it with dogs. <laughs> just just all the dogs. I'm still doing tricks with the lizards. And lizard tricks. Dogs and lizard tricks. Lizard tricks. Dodger is busy kind of, I guess, doing the closest thing that he knows to last rites for, uh, for these people. From a distance. Yeah, from a distance. Kind of hoping that's good enough. Oh, I'm also going to use my disguise kit. Duh. <laughs> Look like something else. I've got a 17 for lizard tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I roll something for dog tricks. So let's resolve the uh, Kier disguise first. I got a 23 for dog tricks. <laughs> uh, this is my built in disguise kit, so I actually add double my proficiency. Oh, nice. Uh, I do this in front of everyone, I start rearranging my face. What do you look like now? Uh, I now look like um, just sort of generic mercenary helm. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like someone's wearing a helmet with a, a visor, not like someone who has metal for a face. Yeah. Uh, and I do some of the same to my arms and elbows to make it look like I'm wearing armor. Whoa. Okay. D can you always do that? What? Oh, it, yes. This is... Uh, and I, like, shift my face around a little bit. Ta-da! And then I do it again. Oh, it's like magic. Uh, but yeah, so you wanted to roll for that, correct? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's 23. Uh, yeah, you you are able to disguise. The lizards, meanwhile, uh, end up forming a wheel. <laughs> and they spin out the back of the house and breaking through the wall. Do what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do yes. Dodger, uh, Dodger stops his his prayers and to stare at that and be like, I don't like those What does my 23 dog performance get? My beautiful children. <laughs> oh, yes. What does the 23 dog performance get? Uh, there is a seven dog stack. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I could walk out the front door and no one would. <laughs> <laughs> like out in the yard. Do you just do you just do that? You just walk out the front door. I don't, but I could. Yeah, the lizards went out the back, presumably, and you see that they have bore a hole into the house behind you. Oh, and there is a straight path out of here. Uh, thank you, Grimshack, and your marvelous lizards. I just give you the finger guns. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Distraction. Yeah, I am in that house. And we're like out on the front porch doing lizard, doing dog tricks. Yeah, we're like trying to get the dogs to like jump up one side of the pyramid and down one side of the pyramid while the whole pyramid stays intact and just shifts sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Grimshack, are you going after your lizards? Oh yeah, I gotta get my boys back. <laughs> your boys are back in town. <laughs> so. They have an alcohol commercial to start. It. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that is where we're going to wrap that as Grimshack runs away. <laughs> Exit stage left, pursuing lizards? <laughs> Perfect. I pull a top hat out of the bag and slap it on my head as I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you later. <laughs> Bye, Gribby. And that is where we will end this episode of RPG Pals. Oh, perfect. there i've been eric aka rhythm bastard uh you can find me on my website and all the music i do at rhythmbastard.rocks you can also find me on patreon.com slash rhythm bastard uh also soundcloud.com slash rhythm bastard and you can buy my merch at rhythmbastard.bandcamp.com i've been madison rowan you can find me on twitter at 
Quipster Recru, Recru spelled R I K U R U. Uh, don't have all too many things to plug. Uh, you can find my art online through links that are on my Twitter. And yeah. I've been Gar Atkins, but you can call me Sahoni, and you can follow me on Twitter at Sahoni underscore stuff. That's S A H O N I underscore stuff. I work as a game designer and essayist, and you can buy my work at Sahoni.itch.io. That's S A H O N I dot itch dot io. I don't have a lot up there right now, but I'm working on a game inspired by X Men and the spaces that marginalized people make for themselves. And I'm Sam. You can find me on Twitter at Frunding underscore Loom. And you can also hear me on the podcast Exiled, a Marvel themed romp through the multiverse with our game master, Luke. Which will be wrapping up in November. I'm Gina Dazer. You can find me on Twitter at A D A S E R Dazer. You can also find me on Patreon uh, at Gene underscore a Dazer or my games company, 1B8. That's everything spelled out because numbers are for chumps. I do, I do game design, a fun, wholesome games for your friends. Everything I do is super queer. I also do character design, songs, stories. Ah, but I do everything. You got it. Art is garbage for money. And I'm Jonah. You can find me on Twitter and such at Jonah M. Jackson. I am a player on the Quest Company podcast and the GM of Quest Company Junior. Both of those are uh, family friendly and not family friendly, depending on which one you're looking at. You can guess what's what. Uh, if you'd like more of me doing dumb Dungeons and Dragons stuff, check those out. Uh, you can find both of those uh, podcasts uh, wherever you find your podcast. You can find out more on Twitter at the Quest Company and at Questco Junior. And I'm Luke. I've been your game master. You can find me on Twitter at, at Coltreg. That's K O L T R E G. I also run the Exod podcast and I host the Multiversal Q podcast, which you can find at multiversalq.com. Also, for when these episodes are initially going to be posting, I am planning to be at a Catacon 2019 in Dayton, Ohio, uh, which is on November 8th through the 10th. Uh, usually I go on the Saturday there, run a game, try some some stuff so if you're going to be going there let me know uh rpg pals club is a alternating weekly podcast if you really enjoy the show please leave us a review if you are financially able to support the show and enjoy it uh you can leave us uh support at our patreon which is rpgpals.club you get episodes a week early for as little as one dollar a month uh also you get bonus content that we cut off when we just do too many shenanigans you can send us dogs on Twitter at our RPG Pals Club Twitter account, and you can go and visit us online on our website at rpgpals.club. Thank you for listening, and we'll be back in about two weeks on either the 1st or the 15th, unless we've suddenly gotten backers on Patreon. Uh, thank you very much for your time, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Peace.